Namaste. So let's have a relaxation now. So you need to be warm and comfortable, either lying in Makrasan on your front, or if you prefer, you can turn over and lie on your back in Savasana. Whatever position you can relax in and is most comfortable for you to do that. And we're going to begin by doing some deep yoga breathing. So we're going to breathe in through your nose if you can, down through a channel through the center of your body and into your tummy. So as you breathe in, your tummy fills with air. And as you breathe out, you relax your tummy back towards your spine, releasing the air back along through that channel in the very center of your being, out through your nose. And then just breathe in again when you're ready. Nice, slow, deep breaths. It's not comfortable to breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth. It's just you do get more oxygenation to all your tissues if you can breathe through your nose, but it's got to feel natural. And with each breath, just feel your body beginning to relax. So as you breathe out, there's a feeling of letting go a feeling of deep surrender. Trusting this process of relaxation and trusting your body that it intuitively knows just what you need and as you relax it will heal and restore. So keep your mind gently resting on the breath. And this will just clear space in your mind. You'll still be aware of thoughts. They come and go in your mind. But it won't be so busy and chaotic. There'll be space between them. And you might even find that by focusing on the breath, you can step back from the thoughts and they're just sort of there. You observe them. They're in the background. But your focus is on the breath. And you will feel an urge to follow the breath, almost like it's taking you down into a very peaceful place. And you might find as a part of you resist this is unsure. See if you can just go with it anyway. So trust the process. And trust that feeling of wanting to let go and go deeper into a state of relaxation. So we're not going to sleep here. No, our mind is still consciously awake, aware. It's relaxed. But we're allowing our body to deeply relax. For every muscle to let go. As we breathe out, our bones relax, our joints relax. With each out breath, we can feel our organs relax. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a beautiful sense of peace starts to pervade your whole body. And I want you to just open up and let that peace flow. Let it fill you up. And the simple thing to do is just follow the breath and just allow your whole being to fill with a peace and a deep sense 
of relaxation. And today I want you to let yourself go deeper, perhaps deeper than you've ever gone before. And it is simply about letting go. And in that letting go, there's a trusting. Now, as you let go, just gently scan your body. You're looking for areas that are perhaps reluctant to let go. Maybe you've got an old injury or somewhere that niggles, somewhere that's a bit tight. Maybe there's some pain in your body. First of all, simply accept that situation. And then take your mind into that part of your body. So instead of trying to avoid it and block it, I want you to go into it. And I want you to imagine that you're breathing beautiful peace as you breathe in. You're breathing into that part of your body and filling it with peace. And as you breathe out, you're just gently encouraging that part of your body to release. For the energy to flow. And for that part of you to join the rest in a deep relaxation. So that it comes back into the hole. So just keep your mind on the breath. Coming back to whenever your mind is distracted by thoughts, physical feelings, sounds. But the most important thing is that when you come back to the breath, you come back with a very accepting attitude of loving kindness. So you're not beating yourself up for having gone off on a tangent somewhere for being distracted. You're just smiling and coming back to the breath. Because the breath is your friend. This is your life force energy. This is your connection to life. The breath is where you interact with life. You take in life and you breathe back out into life. And now we're going to go through a visualization, <clears throat> imagining that we are a caterpillar that has woven a cocoon around ourselves. So we're in this lovely, warm, dark place, protected from the world. We have this beautiful cocoon around us. And this cocoon gives us a space gives us space to change and transform. Gives us space to think, to grow, to develop. To face challenges we have to face. So just feel a wonderful sense of safety and security and peace in your lovely cocoon. It's soft and warm and everything you need is there. And it's like a retreat from the world. Everything out there that's harsh, you are protected from in this lovely cocoon. But we can't stay in our cocoon forever. And it's not healthy for us to, in fact, very unhealthy. So there comes a day when it's time to break out of that cocoon. 
And I want you to imagine that through the layers of the cocoon, you can feel the sunshine. So it's a beautiful sunny day and that warmth of the sun is starting to penetrate through the layers. And that beautiful light is filling you with vibrant energy. It's igniting your will, giving you strength and courage. And it's igniting a feeling of wanting to move and grow, wanting to explore a feeling of wonderment, of curiosity. And this is life. Life force energy is all about growth and change. It's natural. So you start to feel that cocoon slowly splitting. And at first there's a bit of a, a fear about that. Oh my goodness, you're going to be exposed to the world and the world is uncertain. But just imagine that as that cocoon slowly starts to split and the sunshine is there warming you, until this cocoon has split right open and something magical has happened while you were in that cocoon, you have transformed. And as the sun dries you, you realize you have these beautiful wings. So the cocoon, in many ways, it was a place to be warm and comfortable and grow and be nurtured. But it was stopping you from flying. It was a prison. And so now, as you slowly unfold these wings and they dry in that beautiful sunshine and you just get the feeling of what it's like to flap those wings and you start to get a sense of the world. And to a butterfly, the world is a world of flowers. It's a world of beautiful scents, the smell of flowers and the taste of pollen and the sun is shining. And so I want you to imagine that you are like a butterfly and you are about to take your first flight. Now butterflies don't live for very long. So there's a feeling that you want to embrace as much of life as you can. You want to really live. And so I want you to just take off and start to fly. And in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine all your favorite flowers. And if you know the type of flowers that butterflies like, just imagine a garden with a beautiful stream and a little waterfall and a pond. A garden full of trees and flowers, an absolute haven for a butterfly. Maybe there are, there's a wild meadow growing in this garden. And I want you to imagine that you just move from one beautiful flower, one wonderful experience to the next. And you have total freedom. You can feel the breeze up under these lovely wings. And as you start to fly around this garden, you realize you're not alone. There are lots of butterflies. And they're all calling and talking and there's lots of love and support. Beautiful garden and you are free as a butterfly. And I just want you to feel that feeling of being free. A really tasting life. Being free to fly, of life being just one beautiful flower after another. So that you know, whenever we go through a time of growth and uncertainty, and we just want to close ourselves off from the world, eventually we will want to emerge and we will have the courage to fly and to go out and seek the beautiful and the true and the good in the world. So just feel that wonderful freedom of the butterfly. 
the sweetness of the nectar of the flowers. Hear the sounds of the stream of the waterfall. This garden is full of wildlife. It is a sanctuary. And now slowly let those images go. And just start to come back into an awareness of your body lying on the floor. But I want you to keep that feeling of freedom, curiosity, wonderment, that feeling of really living life alive in your heart as you start to come back into the room. Take a nice deep breath and just start to move fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Maybe stretching your arms overhead to wake up your spine and get the energy flowing. And then when you're ready, just rolling over onto your right hand side, resting there for a moment, supporting your head. And you're just going to take your time coming up to sitting because there's no hurry. And I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. And another one. And then just tapping on your head. This will just wake up the energy centers. Get that vitality flowing, tapping all around your head, tapping on your face, giving your face a lovely massage, massaging your ears, all those lovely acupressure, acupuncture points. And then give your hands a really good rub, get some real heat going. And then just let that warmth come into your eyes. Nourishing your eyes and then slowly open your eyes into the darkness. And then spread your fingers and let the light come in. Take another nice deep breath in. You're going to have a wonderful day. Namaste.